the incidence of skin cancer and other skin lesions is rising due to the aging of the population and the increasing intensity of the sun's ultraviolet radiation. Fortunately, cryosurgery using liquid nitrogen with a spray or probe is an easy, fast, convenient, safe and effective way for primary care physicians to treat many common skin lesions. With minimal pain, rapid healing time, and excellent cosmetic results. Dermatologists and a growing number of primary care physicians are using cryosurgery to easily and effectively treat warts, actinic keratosis, seborrheic keratosis, molluscum, papilloma, and many other lesions. Primal Cryogenic Systems has been the world leader in cryosurgical equipment since 1966. Primal and its Cryac handheld liquid nitrogen cryosurgical spray units also are the number one choice of dermatologists. 85% of dermatologists surveyed use Brymel. Treatment of choice for Veruca warts. The patient is advised of the basics of cryosurgery, including what to expect. When the lesion is sprayed, if necessary, the lesions may be isolated or prepared by taping around its borders or using a cone to focus the spray. The spray is focused on the lesion and held until the size of the ice ball indicates sufficient tissue has been frozen. Adjusting the distance from the lesion will change the size of the spray. If deep penetration of freezing is necessary, narrow the spray to smaller than the lesion and allow the ice ball to progress, covering the lesion and extending two to three millimeters beyond the benign growths. If shallow depths are indicated, Use a spray equal to the size of the lesion and freeze for a shorter period of time. A freeze, thaw, freeze cycle will provide a greater lesion destruction while minimizing normal tissue death. This is the normal appearance of the patient's skin approximately 10 minutes after the freezing. Note the mild erythema. The patient should be advised to understand that the lesion will look essentially the same for the first day or so and then may become crusting or forming a scab, the lesion will slowly crumble over the next two to three weeks. Occasionally, the scab will not come off even after several weeks unless debrided by patient or physician. Treatment of choice for genital warts. Genital wart virus infection is a serious condition caused by the human papilloma virus, which is spread through sexual contact. The treatment of choice for the removal of the virus is liquid nitrogen dispensed with Brymil's cryogenics instrumentation systems. The spray is focused on the lesion and held until the size of the ice ball indicates sufficient tissue has been frozen. Adjusting the distance from the lesion will change the size of the spray. If deep penetration of freezing is necessary, narrow the spray to smaller than the lesion and allow the ice ball to progress, covering the lesion and extending two to three millimeters beyond the benign growths. If shallow depths are indicated, use a spray equal to the size of the lesion and freeze for a shorter period of time. A freeze, thaw, freeze cycle will provide a greater lesion destruction while minimizing normal tissue death. Advantages Ease of treatment No need for needles or cutting lack of scarring. Disadvantages, more than one or two visits for large lesions. Possible lightening of the skin color in the area frozen. The patient should be advised to understand that the lesion will look essentially the same for the first day or so and then may become crusting or forming a scab. The lesion will slowly crumble over the next two to three weeks. Occasionally the scab will not come off even after several weeks unless debrided by patient or physician. Filling the Brymil Cryac Unit Brymil's Withdrawal Tube System, an efficient, cost-effective, safe and fast way of dispensing liquid nitrogen into Brymil's Cryac. First, insert the withdrawal tube spout into the Brymil Cryac. Then, lower the withdrawal tube into the doer and form a seal. The pressure of the liquid nitrogen will automatically fill the Brymil Cryac. Remove the withdrawal tube and place it in the handle. 
Secure the lid filled cryac and it is now ready to be used. Spray tips, probes, and accessories. Primil's cryac units come with spray tips with apertures of varying sizes, which help control the width of spray and provide for controlled treatment of lesions of different sizes and types. Primil's cryac units also allow the use of probes, which may be used to control the freezing of lesions on the skin and inside the body cavity. Reimbursement rates. Reimbursement rates vary depending on geographic location. Here are examples of reimbursement codes and rates for pre-malignant lesions and warts. Here are example rates for genital lesions. In general, cryosurgical treatments are recognized and reimbursed by both private and governmental insurers, including Medicare. Comparison of cryosurgical methods. Because it delivers liquid nitrogen spray at minus 196 degrees centigrade, Brymill's Cryac provides the coldest, most effective, and most versatile cryosurgical technique available. Other advantages of liquid nitrogen cryosurgery with Brymill's Cryac unit are It is easy and fast. Most lesions require freeze times of just 5 to 30 seconds. Cosmetic results are excellent, with little or no scarring. Physicians can treat over 100 different benign and malignant lesions. After the initial purchase of equipment, it has a very low cost to use on an ongoing basis because liquid nitrogen is much less expensive than other cryogens. It is very durable equipment. Some doctors still use Brymil units made over 25 years ago. A disadvantage of liquid nitrogen cryosurgery is that the liquid nitrogen may evaporate before it is used up. However, Brymill's long-last storage tank can now hold liquid nitrogen for up to 300 days. Liquid nitrogen also can be applied with a cotton swab. The advantage of this method is that it is low cost and simple. Disadvantages of the cotton swab method include the temperature of liquid nitrogen is much less cold when it is applied with a swab. As a result, it is less effective than liquid nitrogen applied with a spray with Brymil's Cryac. It also takes longer to freeze lesions with a swab. In particular, deep lesions cannot be treated effectively. Additional disadvantages are that the swab method has less control and precision. There is greater potential for cross-contamination. And as already mentioned, liquid nitrogen has a limited shelf life when not stored in a 300-day storage tank. Some cryogens are available in disposable spray cans. The main advantages of these are The freezing agent is stored in the spray unit, so separate storage is not needed, and they have a long shelf life. However, compared to cryosurgery with liquid nitrogen applied with Brymil's Cryac, disposable systems have many disadvantages. The main weaknesses of disposable systems are They have much higher cost to use on an ongoing basis because you have to repeatedly buy the disposable spray cans. They provide less cold temperatures and therefore are less effective. They take longer to achieve freezing. They offer much less control and precision. They are indicated for use on far fewer lesions. For example, one disposable spray unit is only indicated for use on nine lesions. This unit also uses some flammable ingredients. Nitrous oxide is commonly used for gynecological applications and has a longer shelf life than liquid nitrogen. Compared to Brymil's Cryac, the main weaknesses of cryosurgery with nitrous oxide include it has a higher startup cost. It has a much higher cost to use on an ongoing basis. It is less cold and therefore less effective for many applications. It takes longer to achieve freezing. Cosmetic results are generally not as good. A venting system is recommended, which is an added expense. It is not easily portable because it is attached to a large, heavy tank. The storage tank is highly pressurized at 860 pounds per square inch. There is no spray option. Nitrous oxide only uses probes which must be sterilized before each use.
Are you interested in learning how to perform liquid nitrogen cryotherapy? It can be rewarding to both you and your patient. Courses in dermatologic procedural skills are conducted regularly by the National Procedures Institute, NPI. Dr. John L. Feniger, editor of the bestseller, Procedures for Primary Care Physicians, by Feniger and Fowler, is the medical director of NPI. They have been teaching physicians cryotherapy techniques for 15 years. Call them at 1-800-462-2492 to request a free catalog or go to their website, www.npinstitute.com.